to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna share with you this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. I got this inspired by the look that Natasha Denona did on her model. It's just so, so gorgeous. I changed the look a little bit because I could not get to what she did because she just so, so amazing. But I tried and this is what I got. I changed the lipstick a little bit. She did a nude on this and I do the red on me because I love to have red for the holiday. I used the Natasha Denona Gold Eyeshadow Palette, whatever she did on the eyes on me, but it did not come out quite as well as she did. But I hope you still like it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this makeup look. I'm gonna start with my eyes first. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer to prime my eyes. I just like using the concealer to prime my eyes because it does not crease and it lasts all day. You can use whatever primer you like. You can use the Max Soft Ochre Pen Pot. You can use the eyeshadow primer. It doesn't matter what you use. I'm gonna use the Coconut Perfecting Setting Powder. Whatever setting powder you use is fine. I just wanna make sure that I have a smooth base to work with. Sometimes if I don't set it and I apply the eyeshadow, sometimes it gets so sticky and it's hard to blend. For the eyes, I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Gold Eyeshadow Palette. I already did a review on this palette already. I will put the link up there or in the description box down below so you can check it out. But it looks like this. You see how dirty this is because I love this palette. I use this a lot. And I just think this palette is good for the holiday or any party or any celebration that you have. First, I'm gonna go in with the John. It's this shade right here. I'm gonna go apply this to my crease. This palette doesn't have fallout, but I like to use my eyes first because I know I'm gonna use my finger with this palette. And I find that sometimes, even though the palette doesn't have fallout, but when I use my finger and I just touch it on my face everywhere, and I ended up with glitter or shimmering all over my face not because the palette has fallen out it's just I like touching my face and I try not to do that but for some reason I just touch my face a lot I don't know why but let me know in the comment down below if you have the same problem and I'm just gonna apply this directly on my crease this palette is really pigmented so I like to let go light handed at first Make sure that I don't have any like explode eyeshadow on my eyes. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is called Python. First, I'm just gonna draw a line. I'm just creating a line right here. I'm just trying to create a shape on my outer corner right here. Then I'm gonna blend this out just on the outer corner. Then I go back to the first brush and just blend it out the edge. Next, I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. But can you look at this shade right here? Isn't this gorgeous and beautiful? And I'm gonna use it with a brush. I'm gonna spray it. And then I'm gonna go in on my lid. You see that? Then I'm gonna go back to Pine Farm. And just kind of blend out the edge. Where Python and brass meet, I'm gonna use this lamp chrome right here. This is a dual chrome. Isn't this gorgeous? And I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna apply it right here. For 
lunch, I'm gonna use the Sephora collections in the style number 21. And then just put it on. Alright, both lashes are on. Now I'm gonna start working on my complexions. First, I'm gonna primer my eyes with the Hourglass Bell Mineral Primer. As you can see, I'm almost done with this bottle. I just love this primer. I always go back to this one. It's minimum my pores. It's control my oils really, really well. So it just make my makeup last all day long. For foundations, I'm gonna use this Beauty Blender Liquid Whip Longwear Foundations. This has already been out for a while. I've been testing this out and I like it. What I like is that it's have that this right here, so you can just bump your foundation out. And you're just gonna go in and dab it on your face. This is safe for Covers foundations. It has a matte finish, but it's supposed to last 24 hours. So you know your makeup gonna last all day long. Next, I'm gonna conceal my under eyes. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And the shade that I'm using right now is 16G. So it's kind of close to my skin tone. I just use it right now just to conceal it first. Then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Trow G. It's lighter. So and I just gonna apply this right here. Then I'm gonna contour my face with the Lancome 10 Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. This is the foundation stick. And I'm gonna start drawing line on my face. Then I'm gonna blend this out. This stick is really easy to blend out and it blends out really fast. Then I'm gonna go back to my beauty blender. And just make sure that I don't have any harsh lines on my face. But there are some days that I go on the street and I have light here or light right here. So it just depends on if I'm in a rush or not. But sometimes I do get lines on my face. Let me know in the comment down below if you go out in the street with your makeup not completely blend out. Is it just me or everybody else has the same problem? Time to set all that cream products. I'm gonna still go back to the Marc Jacob Coconut Perfecting Setting Powder. I'm gonna let the powder sit on my face a little bit and then finish my under eyes. I'm gonna go back to Pipe Farm. It's that deep blue and connect the top part to the bottom part. I go into my waterline as well. Then I'm gonna go back to the John and just blend the edge. For my inner corner, 
I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is called Oro. I'm gonna run a couple coats of mascara on my bottom lash. I'm using the MAC Extended Giga Black Mascara. Time to kick off this powder. To do that, I'm gonna use my Unlock Palette from Hourglass Cosmetic. First, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is the finishing powder. This is called Soft Light. And I'm just gonna use it to kick off the powder underneath. Next, I'm gonna use the bronzer. It's this shade right here. I'm just gonna bronze my face with it. I'm also going to highlight with this highlight in here. For blush, I'm going to use this blush right here. This is really nice color for fall and winter. Before I do lip, I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna highlight a little bit on my brow bone as well. Let's take off this crusty lip. For lips, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Metallic Lipstick in the shade NYE. Look at this shade. It's so gorgeous. And I'm just gonna go in with this. That's it for my video today. I hope you like this makeup look. Let me know in the comment down below what your thoughts are. Thank you for sticking around. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when I upload a new video. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!